I have a memory of my first experiences swimming around with a camera and pipeline. And I would be the only one out there with a handful of surfers, you know, and watching these beautiful waves. And, you know, wow, this is really a beautiful wave. I'm gonna shoot this wave. It's funny when you see a photo of somebody you haven't seen in 20 years minimum. It's just reminding me how good some people were then. How is it to see some of these when you haven't seen them in 30 years? Ooh. <laughs> this is mine. This is mine. I love seeing everybody's different take on it. It's very cool. When we got that house in 1979 at Sunset on Kamaloo Road, that, that, was, that was really the dream right there. I developed that film. I'll get I it. process that in my dark room. Those are the boys. You, you got the pictures of, of the right guys. Those are the best servers in the world. Well, it was only like a, there was only a handful of guys surfing. Jerry Lopez, Reno Aguilaro, Jock Sutherland, Barry Canapino. I actually just sit on the beach and just be mesmerized by these guys. You know, the stories are really the best part about all of them. You know what you got to do? You've got to definitely get on to the guys that work surfing magazine because they're going to give you a big hand on this. They have to create the dream, to figure out a way. How the hell do I change the whole world so they could pay me to go surfing? And that's what we did. There's Jock Shetland. Oh my god. That's, that's a memory that I'm going to cherish forever because it just, it's not possible to experience that anymore. What do you think uh, Larry would think of all this? I think he'd be blown away. I think we're really lucky to get him back. That's surfing history right there.